So a common question I get is when to use a private attribute. So this one is I have a next ID field and you can see I have used underscore underscore here. So this attribute basically starts off with a default value of one. Every time somebody creates or initiates a, a, an object from this class, then what will happen is the ID number will be assigned from this variable, which is private, which is next ID. So the ID number is controlled centrally as a class attribute or a class level variable. Then other programming programming languages, it may be known as a static uh, property or static member, static variable, but in Python, this is known as private attribute. So, and it's a class level attribute. So here you can see the class level attribute is id What's happening here is the default position is one. Then we assign whenever somebody creates, for example, a dog here, then this dog will get an ID. Notice here itself underscore underscore ID. So this one is now an object level or instance level variable. So this variable is instance level while this one is class level. So we're getting the next ID, which initially will be one. And then every time somebody creates that dog out of this class, then it will increase by one. So this ID over here will go to two, three, and so on. So we don't want people to touch this ID. So this is the instance where you want to set it as private. Now in Python, nothing is enforced so people can still access this id if they really really want to as you can see in this example so here what's happening is when we create a dog max then we print out the id for the dog max which is this attribute over here and then we can also print the class level one and class level one jumps to two so it assigns the id one then it increases the class level variable over here to two so that's why we see the output two here for the statement that is printed here while for this statement over here we get the value of one now if we run this again and you can see the value now changes to two and this changes to three so essentially we don't want people to access this one this is a perfect situation where you could set the id number to be a private variable we don't want people to access it so we try and hide it or mangle it to discourage people from accessing it but remember python does not enforce any of those rules so going back to when should you use it then it becomes that it's a attribute that is purely internal which in our case, this is purely internal. We want to generate the ID numbers. We also don't want subclasses to touch it. So again, this helps, but again, only to a limited extent because users can still access if they really want to. And this is name collision would be harmful. So again, you can see that although you can access it, but it makes it harder because it's mangled name. So it just makes things hard to access. Whereas for other attributes, you can access them easily by just using the name. While here, you have to take the long way around or call it underscore dog underscore underscore next id so this is known as name mangling in python